Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gecko the Old School Gamer here presenting One and Done Call of Duty 2. Uh, I, I gotta say, <clears throat> growing up uh, and then eventually getting the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and then Xbox 360, I missed uh, a lot of, those were the only consoles I had that were like laser generated. So in other words, um, <clears throat> I didn't have, you know, uh, Jaguar or or uh, PlayStation Three. I didn't have the original Xbox. Um, so I just kind of skipped from from PlayStation Two to Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, and then the Xbox One. Um, as far as, you know, modern discs, uh, type, uh, game systems, that's what I had. <clears throat> and those are the only ones I ever had. Um, <clears throat> of course, uh, cart-wise, I had, well, actually, I did have the Sega CD, so I, I do take that back. But the actual full non-add-on type thing, um, <clears throat> I, you know, original systems, I had the Atari 2600, the NES, the Super NES, the Genesis, <clears throat> Sega CD, which uh, was, I never had the Sega Genesis by itself. I just, I had the Sega Genesis and the Genesis together. Um, <clears throat> the, um, and then uh, the Nintendo 64. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going to go with PlayStation. And that was the, you know, advancement of my gaming systems. Well, I tell you this because I did, I did play war games. <clears throat> and the big one back in the day, in like the PlayStation, early PlayStation era, was definitely Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor. And uh, I played, you know, I had uh, probably hmm, three of them. <clears throat> they were cool. So, and when Call of Duty came along, I'm like, oh, another World War II type game. By then, I think Medal of Honor was in the Civil War. Uh, they had a Civil War game, which, you know, for some reason didn't do that well. And I think it's because Call of Duty had might have already come out. But I remember thinking, what? Well, so somebody else is trying to move in on Medal of Honor territory, right? Well, we all know now that um, obviously the Call of Duty franchise was, you know, is massive. But back then I didn't know, so I didn't play it. <clears throat> I think I talked about this in uh, Call of Duty 3, but <clears throat> I'll just kind of go over it again. So, <clears throat> years later. So, I, you know, obviously, so I didn't play Call of Duty uh, games at all. I uh, kind of stuck with the Medal of Honor. And then Medal of Honor just kind of disappeared. And, you know, eventually I found Battlefield. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, because Battlefield, when I had um, the Xbox 360, was um, on Game Pass or Gold or whatever. Yeah, I think it was Gold, yeah. So, I, yeah, it, it has to be Gold because I still have it. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> so I have Battlefield. Um, five, I think it's called, but, um, so I'm playing that, it's like, okay, well, it's like a battle royal type thing, you know, you do have campaigns, which is cool, but, <clears throat> but, um, years later, uh, about a year or so ago, I get this box of PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 2 games, and in that box, there is, uh, there were Xbox 360 games, and there was like three or four Call of Duty games in there. I'm like, this is fucking awesome. I hope they fucking work. And then I got my 360 uh, up and running again, and now I absolutely love Call of Duty games. I don't know why I missed it out, missed out of it so much, all this time. So, you know, that's. Uh, that's my folly for waiting so long, but now I get to enjoy them. 
And uh, so on the Xbox store, I'm like, okay, so there is no original Call of Duty on there. But Call of Duty 2 is on there, and maybe eventually I'd like to get it. And, uh, yeah, this this was released in 2003, Call of Duty 2. But since the, since the Xbox 360 store is fixing to shut down uh, on the 29th of this month, I decided to pick up uh, a couple games. You know, my budget is, you know, kind of small, but... This this game was on sale for like five bucks, five six bucks something like that. I was like, well, I can't I can't turn that down. So Call of Duty two. I've been playing Call of Duty three, and I I'm really you know again I'm really enjoying it. There are some bugs <laughs> that I've noticed. It's like oh wow, but uh, it just goes with the territory. It's like, um, <clears throat> I love Fallout 4. I've beaten Fallout 4 about five, six times already. And there are so many bugs in that game that I've learned how to bypass certain crash areas so stuff doesn't happen uh, bad that often. So, uh, if a game is so good, I can look past those uh those flaws um eventually those flaws get so bad in like fallout 4 where i'm like oh man i got it i can't i can't play this game anymore and then i wait a year or two and then i'm like i got to play fallout 4 <laughs> i know how to get around those crash areas i call them crash areas well, this is essentially downtown boss and it's like fucked up but uh so so Call of Duty, they don't, uh, as far as I know, I haven't found any game-breaking crashes. But there are some weird stuff that's happened. Um, and <clears throat> I was talking to Joe Sixpack USA, and he's like, oh, that goes with the territory, man. There's a little bit of that in all of them. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. Now I know, now I can expect it. So here, <clears throat> so Call of Duty 2. All right. Now, I did start a a new game. Um and I kind of got a little bit uh in it. But I didn't want to get too much in it because I wanted to save it for uh the, the one and done. But I I wanted to play it and try it, you know. <laughs> so here we go. Difficulty, easy, yes, yeah, select. We're going to just go right to the first mission here. Alright, so I got through the first section. And I'm, I'm here, but uh, I'm going to just start here with the first one again. <coughs> Call of Duty 2. Love these. Love these. 1939. The armies of Nazi Germany begin their conquest of Europe. I used to live in Berlin. Fall is Poland. Um, then Denmark, my dad was military. Norway, France, and I lived there from Belgium, 91 and the Netherlands. to 94, almost 94. Now the year is 1941. Begin. With an army over 7 million strong, the Nazi war machine turns to the east and begins the invasion of the Soviet Union. We got to see a lot of... Tactics, they advance quickly. A lot of historical places and, and, and stuff. It's, it's an amazing place to live. <clears throat> Desperately short of reinforcements, the Soviet defense of Moscow now falls to thousands of raw recruits who must hold out against the well-trained German forces in the freezing cold of the Russian winter. Winter Soldier. Captain America was uh, spawned out of, apparently. <clears throat> Welcome to basic training, comrades. If you wish to survive, you will do exactly as I say. Now, walk over to that table and pick up those weapons. Oh, okay. I've... <clears throat> you will have to move. Come on, you fucker. That, move. You will need a real weapon if you wish to kill the fascists. 
Look at your compass. The star the okay, apparently I got a weapon. So I go this way. The weapons are on the table, Conrad. There we go. Okay. Now go back and report to the commissary. <clears throat> get some action yeah this is training so oh right your compass to reach your current objective yes here okay Vasily let us see how good your aim is aim for one of those two teddy bears no they're good pistols and submachine guns might be good for short range comrade but for long range targets our rifle is better Step up to the shooting range. Ready, comrades? Shoot those bottles and plates. Imagine bottles and plates. You will be much more accurate that way. Oops. I missed the uh, first bottle there slightly. I wonder if he's gonna complain there's Okay. 15 seconds to shoot the helmets. Ready? Go. Got a fucking reload, are you serious? There we go. Good combat. Now come over here and bash this mannequin with your rifle. Yeah! Enough, Come over here and pick up a <laughs> These are potatoes, Potatoes? Why are we using potatoes instead of real grenades? Ah. Uh. Oops. Oh, of course, Comrade Commissar, my, my mistake. I just missed that window. There we go. All right. I, I know I hit it first. Now we go check out a prisoner. It's a nice training. It, it lets you warm up if you've never played um uh, this type of war game. Oh. <coughs> Here's where I fucked up and when I first played this the other day. I shot this guy that came in the window, but in the door, I mean. Sir, there's a German attack forming to the southeast. It looks serious. All right. Listen, comrades. There is an armory to the east in the basement of a house. Go there and load up on ammunition and supplies. I will stay and take care of our guest. Remember so, what you have learned. <clears throat> with my experience, Call of Duty 2 and 3, they do show their age. And it's not a bad thing. Um, people are like, some people are like, you know, graphics is everything. No, graphics not everything. But the gameplay is wonderful. The graphics can look like what they look like. I was looking at the wrong arrow. <clears throat> Pick up submachine gun and smoke frag. Where are they at? Right here? Did I grab the smoke frags yet? Okay, I got him. Here we go. But, um, yeah, I was saying graphics aren't everything. <clears throat> and just because the game does show its age a little bit, that's not, that's not a big deal. Oh, motherfucker, that's one of my guys. So we got to cross that as soon as the smoke... 
picks up. Oh, that's LB. Shit. I hit RB instead of LB, so my bad. Uh-oh, I just threw two of them. Oh, right here. Okay. The other day, I threw it over there in front of the tank, not right here. Oh, they saw me. Uh, where are you going? Ah, wait, no, that's a hole. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Alright, so there's a tank. They were just saying. He's over here. and sneak up this way. Ah! Uh, you gonna step in front of me and on top of air? Wait, where's he at? <laughs> I'm, I think I missed her with the grenade. I can't tell. I was hiding behind the wall because I had a, one of them bounce back at me. That's why I had to throw two. I was like, oh shit, it bounced back. I hit the, uh, the top of the arch. Distraction. Get the explosion to go. So do we go this way? It's the Germans behind the system. Oh shit! That one's already blown up. Okay, so he's shooting through a box. Classic, and I can't reach him. Okay, so he can reach me, but I can't reach him. Okay, no problem. I'll just go around back here. Get him. There we go. Oh yeah. Well, it took a while to drop. So is, wait, is this the one I got to destroy? It looks like it's already destroyed. <coughs> okay. Stand the fuck back. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, beautiful. My God, I thought we were in training. There is no better training, comrade. That's right. There's no better training than real shit. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty. 
I love Call of Duty. It's <laughs> cool as hell. You know, early on, they're like, Oh, there's a World War II game. All right, cool. Call of Duty. All right, awesome. I never played the original Call of Duty, but then it's like, well, the Medal of Honor and, and Battlefield, they all do World War II games. And then um, eventually Call of Duty went to modern stuff and, and the futuristic stuff. and so It's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then they went back to World War II. It's like, mm, okay, uh, World at War uh, and World War II. Two world, I guess it's World at War Two, part you know two. I guess so. I mean, they keep going back to this stuff. So, but I mean, it's really good. You know, I've often wondered how many times can you tell a World War Two story or play the bill? Clearly, a bunch of times. And what's crazy is these multiplayer games are still active. Yeah, it's wild. The other night, I was playing Call of Duty 3 with, you know, about four other people. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. So, there you go. It's cool. Call of Duty 2. Finally fucking picked it up. I would like to get Call of Duty 3 or uh, Part 1 Classic. I think if I don't get it before the 29th, the only way to get it is probably through the... Uh, uh, like Lukey Games or something, but the but then the price might get jacked up because you know it's a physical copy and the download is not not going to be available again, which sucks. Unless I mean uh, I don't even want to think about it, but Call of Duty has been remastered, re rebooting the others, but like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The modern one isn't like, you know, the original 360, you know, which which kind of, I don't know, I, I'm not a big fan of it, but the original, yes, love it. So, adios, amigos.